viewers, patrons, welcome back to the Kurt Winters YouTube channel where we talk about cars and all that implies. Now, if you've been following the channel for any time at all, you know how much we love the Z cars on this channel. And this is a first look at the brand new 2023 Nissan Z. Let's go take a walk around the car and check out some of the styling cues that I really think set this apart from the previous model, the 370Z. Okay, so we're gonna start at the back, which is usually my favorite place to start. And let's take a look at the wonderful job that they've done on the design of the back of this car. We've got very reminiscent of the 90s Z32 300 ZX, where your light bar goes all the way around the back of the car. And I also like how they've kept the badges very modest. There's not a lot going back on here. We've got a very simple Z logo, and we've got the classic hamburger Nissan logo. Now, if you've never heard anybody call it a hamburger N Nissan logo, here's why. Here's your patty, your hamburger patty, and here's your bun. So they've gone back to that traditional hamburger Nissan style logo which I actually really like. Now, let's walk around to the side of the car. You'll notice that the badges are still very understated. We've got a Z logo right here, which I'm a big fan of. And one thing that I'm noticing is, is I really like the roof line of this car. It starts and takes a very slow, gentle drop all the way back that goes to this very tasteful, uh, small kind of ducktail spoiler. So with the 350 and the 370Z, I was really never a big fan of those cars. I gravitated more to the 90s 300ZX because I love the body style as opposed to the 350 and the 370 but I really think they nailed it on this car. It has an awesome sloping roof line, and you can see you get your own built-in back bracing strut on the car, which I'm a big fan of. Now, unfortunately, this car is so popular, the doors are locked, so we don't get a chance to look in the inside. But let's go around front and see what they've done with the front fascia. Okay, so when this car first rolled out, one of the more controversial design cues that carried over from the concept car is this really cool grill. We've got a series of rounded off kind of skinny rectangles going around the whole front. Of course, we've also got that classic hamburger Nissan logo, which we were talking about before. But one thing that I really like about the front of this car is this built-in Spoiler. You can see instead of just cheaping out and just doing one single piece of molding, they've given you a very racy look and a really cool chin spoiler that runs perpendicular to that grill that we were just talking about. Now a lot of times when a car goes from concept to production, it loses a lot of those aesthetics but you can see this new 2023Z and this beautiful blue color is amazing. And I think Nissan really nailed it with this car. 